In today's busy world full of screens and gadgets, we often forget what's really important. We get stuck in a loop of work, duties, and online distractions. This makes us ignore the most important part of ourselves, our inner spirit. But what if I told you that there are simple yet profound practices that can transform your life, nourish your soul, and bring you lasting happiness and fulfillment? Today, we're going to explore seven powerful practices that are perfect for your soul and by extension, your entire life. These aren't quick fixes or temporary solutions. Instead, they're transformative habits that when incorporated into your daily routine can lead to a profound shift in your perspective, your relationships, and your overall well-being. So let's dive in and discover these seven soul-nourishing practices that have the power to change your life. The first practice is mindful breathing. Imagine your breath as a gentle breeze, cleansing your mind and rejuvenating your spirit. It's always with you, a constant companion on your life's journey. Yet, how often do we truly pay attention to this life-giving force? Mindful breathing is more than just inhaling and exhaling. It's a powerful tool that can anchor you in the present moment, reducing stress and anxiety while increasing focus and inner peace. The beauty of this practice lies in its simplicity and accessibility. You can do it anywhere, at any time. And here's a simple mindful breathing exercise to get you started. Find a comfortable position, either sitting or lying down. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in through your nose, feeling your belly expand. Exhale slowly through your mouth, feeling your body relax. Continue breathing naturally, focusing your attention on the sensation of each breath. When your mind wanders, gently bring your attention back to your breath without judgment. Start with just five minutes a day. You might be surprised at how this short practice can create a ripple effect of calmness and clarity throughout your day. As you become more comfortable, you can gradually increase the duration. Mindful breathing isn't just about relaxation. It's a way to connect with your inner self to quiet the constant chatter of your mind and to create space for deeper insights and intuitions to emerge. It's a direct line to your soul, always available, always nurturing. Next, nature immersion. In our increasingly digital world, we often forget the healing power of nature. Yet, our souls are intrinsically connected to the natural world. Spending time outdoors can reset your nervous system, awaken your senses, and remind you of the beauty and wonder of life. Nature immersion doesn't have to mean embarking on a week-long wilderness expedition, although that can be incredible. It can be as simple as taking a walk in your local park, tending to a small garden, or even just sitting under a tree and observing the world around you. Here are some ways to incorporate nature immersion into your life. Take a daily green break. Spend at least 15 minutes outside each day, rain or shine. Practice earthing by walking barefoot on grass, sand, or soil. Bring nature indoors with house plants or a small herb garden. Plan weekend activities that get you outdoors, hiking, picnicking, or simply cloud watching. Observe the changing seasons and how they affect the natural world around you. When you immerse yourself in nature, you're not just getting fresh air and exercise, you're reconnecting with the rhythms of the earth, slowing down to nature's pace and remembering your place in the grand tapestry of life. This connection can bring a sense of peace, perspective, and wonder that nourishes your soul in profound ways. Third, creative expression. Your soul yearns to create. Whether you consider yourself artistic or not, creative expression is a fundamental human need and a powerful way to connect with your inner self. It's not about producing masterpieces or receiving accolades. It's about the joy of creation itself. Creative expression can take countless forms. It might be painting, writing, dancing, singing, cooking, gardening, or even problem solving at work. The key is to engage in activities that allow you to express your unique voice and perspective. Here are some ways to incorporate more creativity into your life. Set aside creative time each week, free from distractions and expectations. Try new forms of creative expression. If you usually write, try dancing. If you usually paint, try writing poetry. Keep a creativity journal where you can jot down ideas, sketches, or inspirations. Embrace imperfection. Focus on the process of creating rather than the end result. 
collaborate with others on creative projects to inspire and be inspired. When you engage in creative expression, you're tapping into a wellspring of wisdom and insight within yourself. You're giving form to your thoughts, emotions, and experiences in a way that can lead to greater self-understanding and personal growth. Moreover, the act of creation itself can be deeply meditative and soul-nourishing. The fourth practice is acts of kindness. Kindness is a superpower that benefits both the giver and the receiver. It's a beautiful reminder of our shared humanity and interconnectedness. When we perform acts of kindness, we not only brighten someone else's day, but also experience a surge of positive emotions ourselves. The beauty of kindness is that it doesn't have to be grand or costly. Small everyday acts of kindness can have a profound impact. Here are some ideas to get you started. Smile at strangers you pass on the street. Leave an encouraging note for a coworker or family member. Pay for the coffee of the person behind you in line. Volunteer at a local charity or community organization. Offer sincere compliments to people throughout your day. Help a neighbor with a task or errand. The key to making kindness a soul-nourishing practice is to do it consistently and without expectation of return. Make it a goal to perform at least one act of kindness each day. Over time, you'll find that kindness becomes a natural part of who you are, not just something you do. Moreover, practicing kindness can shift your focus from your own problems and worries to the needs and experiences of others. This outward focus can provide a fresh perspective on your own life and challenges, often leading to increased gratitude and contentment. Next is gratitude journaling. Speaking of gratitude, it's often called the antidote to dissatisfaction and for good reason. Regularly practicing gratitude can dramatically shift your perspective and increase your overall life satisfaction. One of the most effective ways to cultivate gratitude is through keeping a gratitude journal. Here's how to start your gratitude journaling practice. Get a dedicated notebook or journal. Each day, preferably in the morning or before bed, write down three things you're grateful for. Be specific. Instead of, I'm grateful for my family, try, I'm grateful for the way my partner made me laugh today. Include small things, a delicious cup of coffee, a beautiful sunset, a moment of quiet. Reflect on why you're grateful for each item. The power of gratitude journaling lies in its ability to train your brain to focus on the positive aspects of your life. Over time, you'll find yourself naturally noticing and appreciating the good things around you, even in challenging times. But gratitude isn't just about feeling good. Research has shown that regular gratitude practice can lead to improved sleep, reduced stress, better relationships, and even enhanced physical health. It's a simple yet powerful tool for nourishing your soul and improving your overall quality of life. Sixth is mindful eating. Food is more than just fuel for our bodies. It's a sensory experience that can nourish our souls. Yet in our busy lives, we often eat on autopilot, barely tasting our food as we rush through meals. Mindful eating invites us to slow down and fully engage with our food, transforming mealtimes into moments of meditation and joy. Here's how to practice mindful eating. Before eating, take a moment to appreciate the appearance and aroma of your food. Eat slowly, chewing each bite thoroughly. Pay attention to the flavors, textures, and sensations in your mouth. Think about where your food came from and the journey it took to reach your plate. Listen to your body's hunger and fullness cues. Express gratitude for your meal. Mindful eating isn't about restrictive diets or complicated rules. It's about developing a healthier, more enjoyable relationship with food. By eating mindfully, you can enhance your enjoyment of meals, improve digestion, and develop a greater awareness of your body's needs. Moreover, mindful eating can be a powerful tool for developing overall mindfulness. As you practice being present and attentive during meals, you may find this awareness spilling over into other areas of your life, leading to greater overall presence and engagement. And lastly, soulful conversations. In an era of superficial interactions and digital communication, deep, meaningful conversations are more important than ever. Engaging in soulful dialogues with others can profoundly enrich your life, expand your understanding of the world, and nourish your soul. Soulful conversations go beyond small talk. They involve sharing your authentic thoughts, feelings, dreams, 
and fears. They require deep listening, empathy, and a willingness to be vulnerable. Here are some ways to cultivate more soulful conversations in your life. Set aside dedicated time for deep talks with friends or loved ones. Ask open-ended questions that invite reflection and sharing. Practice active listening. Focus fully on the speaker without planning your response. Share your own thoughts and feelings honestly and openly. Be willing to discuss meaningful topics like personal values, life goals, or spiritual beliefs. Create a judgment-free zone where all thoughts and feelings are welcome. Engaging in soulful conversations can lead to stronger, more authentic relationships. It can provide new perspectives on your own life and challenges, and it can remind you of the deep interconnectedness we share as human beings. Moreover, soulful conversations can be a powerful antidote to the loneliness and isolation that many people experience in our modern world. By creating space for genuine connection and understanding, we nourish not only our own souls, but the souls of those around us. Incorporating these seven practices into your daily life can lead to profound transformations. Remember, it's not about perfection, but about consistent effort and open-heartedness. As you nurture your soul through mindful breathing, nature immersion, creative expression, acts of kindness, gratitude journaling, mindful eating, and soulful conversations, you'll likely find that your entire life begins to flourish. You may discover a deeper sense of purpose and meaning in your daily activities. You might find greater resilience in the face of life's challenges, and you may experience a more profound connection to yourself, to others, and to the world around you. These practices are not quick fixes or overnight solutions. They are lifelong journeys of growth, discovery, and connection. Some days will be easier than others. There will be times when you forget or struggle to maintain these habits, and that's okay. The key is to approach these practices with gentleness and persistence, always willing to begin again. As you embark on this journey of soul nourishment, remember that you're not alone. Millions of people around the world are also seeking ways to live more meaningful, connected, and fulfilling lives. By cultivating these practices, you're not only enriching your own life, but contributing to a more compassionate and awakened world. So, which of these soul-nourishing practices resonates most with you? Which one will you start with today? Remember, even small steps can lead to significant changes over time. Your journey to a more fulfilling life begins now, with this moment, with this breath. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of things that are perfect for your soul and life. May your journey be filled with joy, growth, and deep fulfillment. Until next time, take care of your beautiful soul.